For this experiment, you'll need plasticine, two small plastic tubs, scissors, a sharpie, a ruler, and sandwich bags, a kilogram of ice, and two large glass transparent tubs, roughly the same size. Start out by placing two of the smaller tubs inside of the larger ones. I will be sculpting the tub on the right into a sort of dome shape with a barrier in front behind which the ice will lie below sea level. In contrast, the tub on the left I will be sculpting a landform which dictates that the ice lie above sea level. I added an extra slope to represent landform variability. Now you need to create grids so you can quantify the rate of ice melt. Simply cut a sandwich bag in half and draw your grid lines on with a sharpie. Now cover your makeshift landforms with your grids. You may need pins to fasten them securely into place. Now we have made two landforms with contrasting morphologies. Now let's add the ice and see how the shape of the land will influence the rate of the ice melt. We can now generously cover each land surface with ice. I am now adding warm water to the tubs. I need to be sure that the ice cubes on the left stay above sea level and the ones on the right become at least partially submerged behind the barrier. profile view, you can see the dome shape of the right-hand tub. This represents West Antarctica. Here is the profile of the left tub. This landform represents East Antarctica. Every two minutes, count the number of grids visible. You can then compare the rate of ice melt on each landform. Thank you for watching.